How's it going guys, James96 here back with another map playthrough and today we're playing Jump Glide Fly, a Nate's map which is a parkour elytra map so let's get straight into it. Uh, first thing I should say if you want to play this map for yourself then uh, make sure you check out the download link in the description down below and there's all the information about Nate himself. Now I actually tried to grab the information in rules book and they both fell down but basically the idea of the game from my understanding of it is that it's kind of like a super trinity uh, parkour map but with elytras so different blocks you land on give you different effects so like speed, jump boost, blindness, TP down 3 blocks, kills if you're 0.2 blocks above, finishes the level uh, and then yeah that's pretty much how it all works so yeah. There is a timed element to this where you can get on a leaderboard, so we'll see how we do. Uh, I'm not really pressing for it though, we're just going to play through this map and see how we do. Uh, it's telling us the stuff which it shouldn't really do, let's just clear the chat. Uh, so you have to right click on that and then click on everything to get all the stuff. Of course we've got teleportation carrot on the stick which seems to be a key feature to any of these Elytra maps at the moment. So we kind of understand how that works by now. But yeah, basically all you do is you land on this, you'll now see we have jump boost. So if we jump up here, we get launched massively in the air. And then we should be able to just glide. So those red stained glass will kill you, even if you're just like 0.5 above, I think. Can we go off this? Get on? Oh, we messed it up, okay. So yeah, like I said, I'm not too worried about going for the whole timed element. Uh, we're just going to play through the map, check it out. It's only six levels long, it's a nice short map. But it's good fun trying out a parkour map. I've been looking for some parkour elytra maps for a little while and there aren't really any at the moment so I thought I'd check this one out. See what the standard is at this point. I'm sure people like Super Trinity for example. Oh yeah and if this happens it's just a bug in Minecraft so you just have to reload the map. A bit frustrating that happens but oh well. There's only two bugs and he mentions it on the forum post which is linked in the description down below so make sure you check it out. Let me know what you think of the map and what time you get if you manage to complete all the levels. I'm not sure how difficult these are going to be. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Okay. We seem to really far, yeah, I was going to say, we seem really far away from the player there when we had the speed effect. Don't know if that's intentional. Let's try just going straight up. No, I was going to say, I have no idea whether or not I've hit the platform. Is there any problem with that? idea so let's not go for that again it's probably not the best way of doing it oh we didn't jump off oh oh come on ah oh, we're gonna have to relog again <laughs> hopefully that's not too much of a trend for the entire episode but yeah so far so good current level level two yes yeah, so you see we seem very far away and then suddenly we catch up just as we're about to start flying not sure what that's about okay let's try this again Okay, that seems to work better. Just killing all of our speed seems to do do the trick. And we need to go over here. So I think this one's blindness, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, we can see the beacon, so we know where we're meant to be going. Just through here. And good, level 2 complete. Let's get straight into level 3. So basically, you just use the signs to navigate by the looks of it. So I can't even see what that sign says, but oh, we saw it right there in there. I think I might have messed this one up, though, because I kind of fell off the edge rather than... Yeah. Let's reset that. Try it again. Okay. Where is sign? Okay, so it's this way. I actually jumped this time, so hopefully we can make the distance. And jump off. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh. See, I think those ladders are kind of pointless. It doesn't. I'm pretty sure. When you're flying, it's not going to let you jump onto the ladders. There's no way of like bailing on the flying part as well. We flicked off the edge there again, so I don't think we're going to be able to make this. So it just doesn't let you do it. You continue flying until you land on a solid block, so those ladders are completely useless. Kind of annoying, but oh well. Just teasing you, really. Okay, let's jump off. Okay. Jump across. Gotta try and get our angle right. Hey, we made it. Okay. Is that just straight to the finish now? Looks like it. Are we gonna make it? Yep. 
and then just smack into the block. Oh, not again. Three out of three so far. It's meant to be a rare bug. It seems to be happening every time. Oh, and it's happened twice in a row. Come on. So yeah, that, that is a disappointment. Okay, are we back? Hello? Okay, so we're invisible. Weird. Let's try going, you know, invisible. Just in case that's how it's meant. Aha, we're back. I didn't think that was meant to happen somehow. Ah, oh, okay. So it looks like we're meant to hit the slime block. And then bounce. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Can we do it? Not that time. Can we do it this time? Swoop down. Hey, okay, we made it. All right, let's go into first person mode through this part. Okay, we've got to go straight up. I'm going to take the elytra wings off. I don't trust myself. Because, like, the falling part is just going to make us fly. So I think it's actually better to take them off when you want to go straight up. Okay, let's go forward. Uh, we need to put them back on. I almost forgot. And like so, and jump off the edge, sweep, back up, back up, no, okay, can we continue? Okay, ow, oh, ow, okay, maybe not, let's try that again, so let's go off here, across, no, nope. <laughs> this is really inconsistent, there we go, maybe I'm just inconsistent. So let's try. Duh. Oh. That's annoying. Let's put us back in first. Oh no, we put ourselves in first person mode. Let's just stay in first person. Uh, let's change it. Oh. I felt like I was hitting a block there. Oh, there's a block above my head. I don't really want to be hitting. Let's try jumping up. Oh, we can make it through with the elytra wings on. All that worry over nothing. Okay, let's continue then. And jump. Go. Okay, we made it. Okay. Now, pardon me. No, we can't go through the top because there's command blocks there. I think we're meant to just go around, aren't we? Let's have a look. Yeah, there's no way for us to go through there. Unless there's some weird redstone stuff there. I'm just going to go down yeah <laughs> I can do that I don't think that really counts as cheating I mean that's almost harder than just going through the middle part okay so it looks like we got a the red teleports down I think so I don't think that's actually bad I don't know why you chose red though it would have been made more sense to have picked up a different color because obviously red also means dead in terms of the stained glass so slightly Wider colour palette may have been better. Okay. So presumably we've got to get up on top of here now. Okay. That's going pretty well so far. Let's go down here. And cross like this. And where are we going? I literally have no idea where we're going. Okay, we're going over here. Let's go into F5. Jump off. Can we do it? Okay, awesome back into this mode okay awesome right one more jump to make and we'll be through this level level five jump off the edge okay I'll make sure we make this awesome do we make it yeah cool okay so this is the last level tip follow the beacon checkpoints okay cool I think it said step on this to start yeah okay Let's wind ourselves into here. Cool. One beacon checkpoint down. I wonder if we actually get those checkpoints saved. Might be better to do this one in first person mode. I don't know. We'll stay in third person mode for now. We have to like flick it around a bit. Okay, so we got to here. Let's try going from up here. Go. Oh, okay, I think we need to reset. Oh, okay, we do go back to the start. Damn it. Yeah, see, it doesn't reset the beacons. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's a bug. Because it seems like if he's saying step on the stained glass at the start, that you it reset the beacons. So that may be a bug, because this map's only just come out, just to clarify. 
Aha. Let's go down here. Can't see. Can we just jump down? I hope so. Yeah, good. Which way? That way. Oh, okay. That looks difficult. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Hey, we made it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I don't trust myself to make that. Let's go into first person mode. And let's take off our elytra wings. I don't want to mess this up. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I had no idea where I was meant to go there. Right, up on top here, I'm guessing. I'll put the elytra wings back on. Literally, if I hadn't changed game mode there, I would have jumped off the edge. Okay. And then, just onto the ship, I guess. Ow, okay. Do we have to get up there? No, just let's go down there. Oh, is that the end? Awesome. Okay, so thanks for playing. I had Nate's project at Nate.xyz. It took 602 seconds for us to complete the map. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that episode, then please do leave a like. I really enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to see more of that, then let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.